Who would be a better fit there? You know, I know Kaepernick should should be rewarded with a starting job position. But as far as backup is concerned, I would say RG3 is better suited for what we've seen in this offense from Daryl Bevel. Uh, now, he's able to learn from a guy that came out in the same draft as he did, which, you know, at, at times that could be a little frustrating for, for all of us as players. But yet and still, it gives them time to develop. Learn how to play from the pocket. Learn how to go through your reads and progressions. I think that's something that's very important that's been missing from RG3 throughout his whole duration in his career at this point. And I look in the sense of Wason for Kaepernick. It's not so much about the whole media attention. He should be a starting quarterback somewhere. That, that's that, a backup. That's kind of enough slighting a man who who had less than 10 interceptions last year. I mean, played played great in the in the conditions that he were he was in under Chip Kelly and his offense. So as far as backup is concerned, now we're talking just backup, not coming in to compete for the starting job. But as far as backup is concerned, I think this gives RG3 a better situation to learn how to be a pro, learn how to learn play from the pocket, and then also learn more about the West Coast offense and what it can do for you. I mean. I I understand what you're saying. You're saying that, that RG3 is better suited to be a backup. But from the Seahawks' standpoint, who would you rather have? I think it's easy. You want Kaepernick. The only argument against Kaepernick is if you aren't prepared to deal with whatever social backlash or tweets from the president or whatever nonsense that may come along because people are too close-minded to accept his protest. That's why you may not go with Kaepernick. But I don't think there's any argument that I know you... Well, let me teach you something a little bit about quarterback real quick. Mm -hmm. tell, tell you a little something about the quarterback. Let me position. write this down. Let me write <laughs> So, I mean, I understand your point about the West Coast offense, but that's where Kaepernick was so effective is with the short passing game. So maybe he's not prepared to be a backup, but I still think he's the better. I don't think there's an argument. He's a better quarterback than RG3. I agree. I mean, I won't say better. I, I mean, we don't know. I don't know. Honestly, to be honest, I think RG3 is a, I think he's a great quarterback, man. Just the injuries killed him. I think... When we, we, got, we got a little tease from his first years in the league, what he did, it was amazing. And I think injuries set him back. Same with Kevin. I think he deserved a chance. Mm -hmm. And I think he's a starting quarterback in the NFL, especially on some of these teams. <laughs> so, you know, I just, you know. It's, it's, I mean, the, the um, RG3 has been a part of two organizations that ha do not have a great history no of, <laughs> of, no of, of, treating, of treating their players well and put it, building up some, something competent around them. So right. I could understand the argument, but if the argument that he still needs more support and he could grow into a great quarterback, but based on the sample size that we have now, the, the stats that we have now and the film that we have now, I'm handing the ball to Cap before I'm getting anywhere near RG3. Well, uh, Based on performance yeah. exclusively. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have to also look at it in a sense, too. I mean, I, I just talked about it. That I think that Kaepernick should be rewarding a starting job. Now... Well, where? Uh, well, I mean, the Jets need some help. Uh, we already Buffalo, we, we're already hearing what they're trying to do with Tyrod Taylor. You go out and draft a, a quarterback from Pitt who's not going to be ready. Uh, I think Kaepernick should be Houston? A, a guy... Uh, you Houston, can say San Diego who, yeah. for... Yeah, uh, to, Phillip, to possibly learn, to, uh, learn, to learn from Philip. So when Philip, you know, and, and no. I think these are situations. And also, I'll throw Miami in that situation. Yeah. I mean, Miami, they really don't know what they have in, in their quarterback. Tannehill. So you know, for for Ryan Tannehill in this situation, how long are we gonna wait? <laughs> I mean, seriously, let's be no, honest. I, I mean, I think he had, a, I think he had, a, he had a great regular season. He got hurt, I but did. then That's Matt Moore fault. was able to take him against mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. But he hasn't shown you much. But, but a little, little bit of progression. He showed me as, improvement. As a, he showed me improvement last year. That don't get you $18 million a year like Why don't it? Don't that. be hating but on I that man's money. Gotta, hey, man. don't I'm going to call it how I see it. I want, I want him to get paid. I want everybody to get paid. I made my share of money. <laughs> but okay, but... I mean, I'm just saying, for Kaepernick, he should be rewarded with an opportunity to compete for a starting so if you, job. If you, were, if you were the head of an organization, you're a GM or you're a president or you're an owner, yeah, are you at all concerned about the media and the backlash that comes with it? I'm not. I'm not because it's died out. What everything that he stood for, I mean, it's been spoken on. I mean, there's been points that have been made. There have been directions that we've been moving in in order to to make change. And, and Seattle's and a good place. He's I, think, done. I think it is a great place. It's a good place to go place. for something like that. Exactly. The owner is progressive minded. This, this far, and, and, and far, he's not competing for and a far as the, right, he's and a backup. Far as the chemistry and they in Seattle, you can yes. tell they preach brotherhood. So no matter what your brother do. You always got his back. You always there for him, no matter what the situation and is. And there were guys who supported. Yeah, there was a lot of guys who supported. Even yeah. guys like the guy, I will say the that. guy from the uh, Denver Broncos, the linebacker. Marshall. He, he lost, he lost, he lost his sponsorship Marshall, right? off of that. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think that society is necessarily ready for it, which is why I could understand why an owner or something would be hesitant to it, because they don't necessarily feel like it's their obligation to bring us all along 
uh, advance us socially. Right. But I, I mean, I would applaud the owner or the team who had the courage to step think, out and stand behind. I think him. they got to look past that, man. I think okay, Cap stood for what he stood for. All right, look past that. Now look, look into football. Look what he did. Look at his productivity on the field. And what did he do? You know, when he was on and the field. And we also have to take into account he was coming off of surgeries mm -hmm. in the off season. Uh, where he lost maybe about 15, 20 pounds and never really regained but that. But he also no, he's never really had a change. Yeah, he changed his religion. Anyway. He changed his religion and, you know, he's eating a little differently now. Uh, but he but never had a chance you know, also, I give think. Give him a chance yeah. to learn the game. 